Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi, I'm Dr. Abdul Adamu from Data Analytica. This video is on portfolio performance. We are going to consider Jensen Alpha. So in the previous three uh, video, we have looked at sharp ratio. We have also looked at uh, trainer ratio. And we have looked at the last video, we looked at uh, M square alpha. If you have not watched that, you consider clicking here so that you watch it and understand it. Also, in our risk and return lecture series, we have also looked at uh, the concept of alpha in detail. This is going to be brief and showing us uh, to discuss uh, portfolio performance. The Jensen Alpha, like trainer ratio, Jensen Alpha is based on systematic risk. This uses beta rather than the standard deviation of a, a portfolio. The difference between the actual portfolio return and the calculated risk adjusted return is what we know as the Jensen Alpha. By definition, uh, the uh, alpha of the market is equal to zero by definition. So Jensen Alpha is also the vertical distance from the security market line, measuring the excess return for the same risk as that of the market. So if, since the beta of the market is equal to zero, if an alpha value that is positive, that is greater than zero, mean that the portfolio has outperformed the market. If it is less than zero, it means it underperformed relative to the market. The formula for Jensen Alpha is giving us the uh, return, portfolio return, less the actual portfolio, realized portfolio return will less the cap M model. Once we calculate it, we less it. That is the formula for um, Jensen Alpha. So the returns in the equation are all realized, they are actual re return because we are talking about performance in this case. So if the alpha is positive, then the portfolio has outperformed the market. If it is negative, then it has underperformed the market. Jensen Alpha is commonly used for evaluate most institutional managers, pension fund and mutual fund. So we take our question and use it for this last measure of performance of portfolio. And this question, like I stated, is adapted from CFA level one program curriculum for 2020. So if we want to calculate the Jensen Alpha, this, uh, this is our formula. The real portfolio return they are given here. So we have our risk-free return. We have the market return. And we have our risk pre return. We have the beta of the portfolio, which are given here. So if we plug them in, the first one, the return of the portfolio is 10% minus. Then the risk free rate is 3%, which is here, plus the beta is 1.1. We multiply it by the market risk premium. The market risk premium is 9% minus the risk free rate. Then once we do it, the 10% minus that value will have 0 0.4, which is a positive value. Then for portfolio Y, we plug in, the return is 11%. The beta is 0 0.7, we plug it in, we have a Jensen alpha of 3.8%. For Z, the return is 12%. Then we do the cap M, 3%, the alpha is 0 0.6. So also we plugged in, we have 5.4%. But the market portfolio is 9%. Once, since the alpha of the market is always equals to 1, if we plug it in, we have also 9%. That is why the portfolio, uh, the Jensen alpha is equals to 0 as expected. So we, we can go, we can go to our Excel to see how these are calculated. If we go to our Excel now, we can see to calculate the Jensen Alpha, this is the formula. 
this is equals to we have the return this is 10 percent minus open bracket so risk free rate this is three percent i'm going to lock it plus the beta the beta is e5 since this is covering it so e5 times open bracket the return of the market is this we are going to lock it also we are going to lock it we are going to lock it also f4 to lock it minus the risk free rate which will also lock with f4 then we'll close the bracket how many brackets have we opened then we'll close the second bracket also then we enter so that is the value we got earlier we just copy this down copy that down so when we copy that down those are our jensen alpha as we got earlier so from this you can see that portfolio y a uh, portfolio z has a higher jensen alpha followed by portfolio y and x in that order so that is how we rank it so we have come to the end of the this lecture if you enjoy our content you can consider subscribing to our youtube channel at um, uh, data analytica also like our video and comment on where you feel we can improve on so thank you very much if you have not watched the other one just go to our youtube channel we have a lot of content there for you bye